Today's a big day, my friends. Today's the day we find out if this trip was free or I took a little L. Um, either way, I'm in Australia, so let's pretend I only sell $500 worth of merchandise. Yeah, I took an L. This trip was obviously more expensive than $500, but at the end of the day, I still went to Australia for like $600, so can't really get mad at that. It's more about the experience. It's now 6.30 in the morning. I'm about to call my Uber to head over there. Here are my two luggages full of merchandise. Um, here's a better look at the rack. After having it for a little bit, it's kind of cool because it does have this little thing here where I could put folded merchandise. Um, I have the hangers in here. And yeah, I'm ready to go. Vendor setup is from 7 to 11, so I should be one of the first people to get there. I'm going to make sure to be completely transparent with the convention because I'm betting on myself. I don't know how much money I'm going to make. I don't know if anyone's going to buy anything. One of the struggles as a small brand going to SneakerCon is most people are going there for sneakers, of course, but people do sell a lot of clothes, but the clothes are 99% the big brand stuff, the hype stuff. So like Supreme, Babe, Off-White, Palace, um, Anti-Social Club, stuff like that. People are not going to SneakerCon to buy Way for the Fame. No one even knows what Way for the Fame is. So that's one of the challenges when coming here, but I think it's cool because I know my product is better no, it's not as popular, but it's better. That's my opinion, and you don't have to like it. Don't really give a fuck. So I'm going to go ahead in my cab now. Hopefully, it's a good turnout. Um, we shall see, though, and you guys shall see. Hey, mate. We made it to SneakerCon. It's lit. Um, I'm one of the first people here, so I got a good table. I'm towards, like, the trading pit, like, dead center. Like, I'll show you right now. Here's what I've done in the first two hours. I have some of the 3M vests and jackets there, the I'll Be Rich and Famous um, windbreakers. Uh, I have some champion crew necks right there, the Supreme Blanks. The convention doesn't start till 12, so I still have another like two hours left. But um, it's filling up. It's a lot of vendors. So it's almost 12, here's the setup. Um, I finished with everything. I have my tees on this side, the free stuff in the middle, some beanies, a hat, and then I just did this to take up space. Talking to a lot of people and they said the turnout last year was good and this one, this venue's even bigger. So, let's get it popping. Yeah. So it's now like 5.15, it's about two hours left. I've been doing really good. Like I, I don't count my money to the end of the show because I feel like it's bad luck, but. I think I might have made my money back already. The convention's dying now now. It's about 6.30. It's mostly just vendors left, but um, this is what I have left. Got one jacket, I think four vests. These are have some Supreme shirts left. Yeah, this is literally all the merch I have left. It was a pretty good turnout from my understanding. I haven't counted my money yet, like I said before. But um, as of right now, I'm happy. finished wrapping up here's the table uh, I got the racks look how perfect it looks can't even tell I used it level said this returning stuff but um yeah the event was pretty good uh, from my understanding I think I did good I'm definitely gonna count it live once I get back to my room my camera is also about to die so um yeah it's near con Melbourne thank you for having me so my camera definitely did die when I got back to my room, I just put the camera to charge and then I went to get a bite to eat. Um, I haven't counted this yet, so let's do that now. Um, my trip was 
like 11 something. And um, I don't know how much that is Australian. I guess I should look that up, but whatever. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 14, so 1425. And then I know I got some payments on PayPal. Yeah, I got two for 70. So 1425. So let's say 1550. Um, 1550, what is that Australian? So 1550 Australian is 1131. My trip came out to be like 11, like almost 12 for the whole thing. And I made, I mean like I made 1131. And let's make, I made 1100. That's not bad. Like I got to go to Australia for free, essentially. I paid $80 to go to Australia. Like who can get mad at that? And I'm not gonna lie, like I definitely would took a big gamble coming here. Like there was a lot of me that was like, you know what, I don't need to go to Australia. Like what if I don't make the money back? Like it's not even like it's a four or five hundred dollar or even like six hundred dollar trip. It's twelve hundred. And I'm going by myself. And there's way other things I want to do with the money, but I'm happy I came. I met a lot of cool people. I met this guy whose clothing line is like um West West Side or something. I'll definitely link him in the bio down here. And um yeah, it was dope. I planted my seeds in Australia. People don't really have never heard of Way for the Fame. Now they have, and then those people could be one of my best customers. More of the story is bet on yourself. I definitely did not think I was gonna make this much. Um I'm not gonna lie, for the first like two hours I probably sold like four things and I was like, yo, like I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty worried. But um yeah, the turnout was great. I'm happy I came. Thank you, SneakerCon. Thank you everyone in the Melbourne that showed love. Um, special thanks to those girls who did the photo shoot with me. And um tomorrow's my last day. I'm gonna do a bunch of like touristy stuff. But um yeah, I'm happy. I'm genuinely happy. It might not look right now because I've been up since like five and it's nine forty, so very tired, but I'm hyped in the inside. Probably just end this video right.